Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly bleed your cooling system. Stay tuned. Okay, the tools that you're going to use to um, for this job is going to be a ratchet, a 10 millimeter deep socket, uh, two uh, extensions. They have to be uh, each of them has to be three inches, so a total of uh, six inches. And I'll show you why in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, first you're gonna have to remove this uh, engine cover off. Pull it out, bam, like that. Put it to the side. Now what you're looking for, there's a, actually like a, a, a bleer valve, which is located right, right there. As you can see, it's right there. Let me zoom in. So that's your bleeder valve right there. All right. All right, so the reason why you need a six inch extension and a deep socket is because when you're going to put it in here where the bleeder valve is at, so you can have enough space to put your uh, your ratchet in there, like so. Let me see. Uh, like so. That's why, see? Okay, what you wanna do next, well, I'm not gonna do that, I'll do it on mine because I already did it, you know? Mine's already fixed. Uh, what you wanna do with the car off, you just wanna give it a couple of turns, like maybe two, three turns or four. Not to, not, not enough for it to, uh, for, the, for the bleeder valve to um, come off. You just wanted it in just enough for uh, the coolant to uh, come out from there okay once you uh, turn on the car you, this should already be open the little bleeder valve you don't need to accelerate on the gas or step on it really hard or anything at all just leave it alone you know just let it let it idle what you want to do you want to leave it idling for about maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so uh, actually you know between 15 and 20 minutes that'll be the safe and what you want, what you're looking for, um, is in here, you're gonna see uh, water is gonna come out. It's gonna start come out, coming out like a little fountain. There's gonna be certain times where uh, nothing's gonna come out, and air is just gonna uh, start coming out. Once you have a steady flow of uh, antifreeze coming in from here. And uh, you go and you go inside of your car and you check your temperature gauge and see that it's at a uh, right just below half uh, half reading. Then you know that you, uh, the car's already the car's already fixed. You know, all the air is already out from the cooling system. So what you want to do with the car still on, you put this uh, the ratchet back in there and you tighten it back you tighten it back in there. Oh, and I forgot to mention too while you're doing that. You gotta make sure that your uh, re your cooling reservoir is topped off, and you're gonna keep on filling it and watching your reservoir. You don't want it to go empty on you, you know. So you're gonna have to keep on pouring um, antifreeze in into your coolant. So that's how you do it, you know. Once you see once you see a steady stream coming out, like not it's not gonna be shooting out or anything like that spectacular, you know. It's just gonna be a steady um, a steady flow coming out. And once you see that for about between uh, 15 and 20 minutes and it's a steady little stream, then you can just go, and then you go inside and you check uh, inside of your dashboard and check your uh, your uh, thermostat uh, needle and make sure that it's just right below the half, uh, the, half uh, the half line. And if it doesn't move up or down and it stays there for a bit within those 20 minutes, then you come over here and then you close it off with the car still on. And then once you close it off, then you're, that's it. You, um, <clears throat> you make sure you top off your, uh, your antifreeze coolant and you put your uh, cover back on and you should be set oh and don't forget to clean out uh, clean, clean all the mess that's, just, that's gonna have pop out from in here and that's it and that's how you bleed uh, the, the cooling system on a car all right so this is exactly what I mean right there it's not the the needle is not exactly a uh, halfway point like like up here that halfway will be up here somewhere so it's just right below right below right there as you can see once the needle is somewhere right there 
and it doesn't move up or down for those 20 minutes, guess what? You had bled out all the air from your cooling system. Like four months ago, I bled uh, my cooling system because I had to change the, the heater, uh, the heater hoses that come out from the from the firewall. And uh, ever since four months, the car has not overheated at all. The, the the gauge, the temperature gauge, stays where it's always where it's supposed to be, right below the half line. You know, so it works. It's guaranteed to work. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. You don't have to, but it would help out. Thanks.